welcome back everyone, Grojin here. Um, today we're going to be playing Man of Medan. Now, I went, I wasn't too sure whether we should start off with Until Dawn, because I know they're similar type of games, but I think um, I think this is going to be fine. If you want me to do Until Dawn though, let me know. Man of Medan, and we're just going to get started now. I'm playing with an Xbox controller, which I, um, I don't really know the buttons, and I do know these kind of games, you'd have to press buttons quite quick at times. So yeah, expect me to die, <laughs> whatever happens. Right, that looks all right to me. Let's go. So, like in The Last of Us, I'm gonna try and stay quite quiet when, stay quite quiet when cutscenes and people are talking, just so anyone who hasn't seen it, just so they don't miss parts of the story. And I will be looking around quite a bit. Challenging or forgiving? <laughs> Let's just do challenging. We'll just leave everything normal. Right. To play with the controller, press A. So it looks like we're starting out on a ship. General alarm when alarm sounds, go to your station. It's gonna go off, isn't it? No. So, is that a coffin there, Carrion? There's a few coffins, like four of them. Looks like there's room for a lot more in there. Oh, mine isn't one of them. Dockside Market, Manchuria, 9.12pm, post-World War II. Alrighty, Buster, we better mosey on back to the ship. Whoa. Stop the press. <laughs> what? Looks like old Charlie Charming's got a little business to attend to. Can you fight? Can I fight? Hey, give me a quarter. Why? I'm gonna find out my future. Find out my future. Oh, fortune teller. Graphics are quite. Graphics are quite nice. In store for me, Pop. You do it, Jane. Yeah, Pai. Yo, even ma. Tell me about my son. Will I be rich? Uh, I guess I just want to know about my son. Will he, uh, is he gonna grow up all right? Things gonna work out for him? Okay. Dragon tile or bamboo tile? Let's take the dragon. Is he giving us stats to turn over? Press and hold right chicken to pick up objects. Use R to examine. We got a fish. Looks like a fish. Your money Death. Death? Wait, what? What does that mean? Hey, what does that mean? What the hell, man? I wonder what would happen if you chose the other one. Hey, bud. Right button. Traits updated. Charlie? Oh, okay. We're insecure, altruistic, selfish, and reckless. Okay, so that's... Has that set our tone for the rest of the... thing? So that's our relationship... with Charlie. Okay, okay, I get it now. Let me get a go at it. Oh yeah? Think you got the stuff? Fight? Sure. Let me know the quarter. Gonna start a tab. <laughs> and he got his own money. I'll give it a whirl. And they're moving. Alright, I hope I am gonna aim. Right stick to aim, right trigger to punch.
Right trigger to punch, I'm pressing it. Oh, have I got to do... I get it now, I get it. I didn't realise I had to hit the one that was moving. Oh, I don't know where B is. Here we go, we've got it, we got it. Yeah, we beat it, we beat it. Yeah, looks like I'm the karate master now. Wouldn't you know it? <laughs> she said, why the long face? We better get back to the ship. We don't want to get stranded. Come on, man, just let me ask another question. We really need to get back. gonna be something bad on one of these crates. That had like a skull and crossbones on there, that doesn't look nice. That looks, it looks pretty bad actually. It's kind of quite creepy this. And nothing's even happened yet. US 010208 Oh, is that a 9 or 984 C27 C? They all look like a, they've got toxic or something you'd expect it to be yellow or red. We're staggering back to the boat. Hey man, hey where's my, where's my 50 cents? 50 cents? What 50 cents? Come on man. Hey, buzz off. Nobody pushes me around. <laughs> Ooh. Yeah. Feel my medical opinion. These men appear to be drunk off their rear end. <laughs> you punched the wrong one. Get this one to the medical board. Throw the other in the brig. Okay. Keep him there. Being in the brig drunk would be a long night. Just checking where the buttons are on this controller in case I've got to press any. Oh, the ship's electrifying. Oh, it's hit the grates. Eee, what's that? That can't be good. And there's water in there as well. It's seeping into the water on the boat. Is it going to bring all the soldiers back to life or something? having like flashback dreams sick bay 136 a.m. June the 1st 22 it's only last year explore the ship find a way out of sick bay okay hey who's this two pops come back soon Alright, so there's the door, which is bound to be locked, right? Yeah, we've got a padlock on there. A locker with the first aid stuff, right trigger. Man. Oh, Jesus. What the hell? No one told me it was going to be like that. Um, we need to take his little daddy, see what he's got. Oh, he's got a key, he's got a key.
You're not going to rob the dead man's money as well. Took all your mates. Oh, you, oh, did you give it to your mates? Yeah, we'll take that. Let's go and see what's wrong with him. Why was he in a locker? So we can't do nothing. We just look down at him. We can't take the diary either. Right, there's nothing else over that way. We can't go down there either. Okay, let's just go and... Use the key to get out, I guess. Why would he be locked in? Why has he locked himself in? Can we only go one way? We can. What are you looking at down there? Left, left, go left. How long were we in that brig for? Is everyone going to be dead? All right, we'll try this room first, then I guess. Howdy, Charlie. How's your time off? Just get me out of here already. What the hell's going on up there? I heard aircraft and gunfire. Me too. And there was a a corpse. What? In the sick bay. Something's wrong. Let's get out of here. Hang on. I want to go and check your room. Anything in there? There is. There is. Let's see what's on this. Find out what's happening on the ship. In that private Charles Anderson on... In that private Charles Anderson on leave from duty did display intoxication in the manner of not being any member of the US Army, Private Anderson was engaging with another soldier in a drunken argument. It is the opinion of the arresting officer that this would lead to a public brawl and steps were taken to ensure that both men were returned to their ship. Ten days in the brig approved. Ten days? I wonder how long have we has it been ten days, maybe? Right, there's something else on here that we can have a look at. Charges, maybe. Brig week twenty seven, Monday, Arthur Miller, private petty theft, one day brig, small items belonging to senior officer found in Miller's locker, items removed and returned to owner. Wednesday, David Davis, private, trespassed two days brig, found off limits in cargo hold three A, with no reason to be there, flagrant disregard to others. Friday PFC Lewis Brand Public Intoxication One Day Brig found drunk and acting inappropriately for US Army personnel while on short leave. Robert Reed Public Intoxication One Day Brig found drunk and acting inappropri inappropriately for US Army personnel while on short leave. So them two got a day each for being in, for being drunk, and our mate got ten days. It's a bit. Oh, I'm going. I'm going. I wanted to look at the back. I missed that. Can we not turn this one over? Yeah, we can. Sergeant Charles Anderson, private public, pu oh. public intoxication brawl in 10 days, brig found drunk and acting inappropriately for US Army personnel while on shore leave. Joseph Roberts, private public intoxication brawl in 10 days, brig found drunk and acting inappropriately for US Army personnel while on shore leave, assigned to sick bay for medical treatment. Okay, so that's us too, isn't it? So we both got 10 days and the rest all got one. But there's a common thing there, it, everyone was drunk. Right, let's get out of here. No! Oh, Jesus! <laughs> that was so loud. Is to control our breathing. Ah! Oh. <laughs> I thought I pressed it on Sam. Or was that not me? Everyone's going mad. Okay, well this is a bit little poo your pants scary, isn't it? Uh, what was that? I can't move. Okay. Right. I thought we were looking in the lockers. That's what it looks like you're doing. Oh, no. Okay, so let's go in there. Looks like that's where it wants us to go, right? 
Oh no, oh no. Okay, we're going straight down the hall and let's go. I forgot his name. We just seen that creepy guy at the end of the hallway, didn't we? And we're like just going down there. Charlie, help. Charlie, that's his name. Help, have you seen the size of the door? Whoa! Alright, so I've got to start expecting all this jumpy stuff to stop, save me, like, having a heart attack. This is, erm... Um, this isn't looking good, you know. People are dead and looking crazy. There's another one on the floor. Something there. Damn it, Buckley. Look, look at his face. Last time I saw him in the mess hall, he was fit as a fiddle. Poor and his eyes, his eyes, he's got his eyes were just white. Right, we're going downstairs. Is that a door? No, it looked like a bit of a doorway. Why are we looking from under the stairs like that? So weird. Hold left button to walk faster. Okay, oh, hang on, hang on. There's a, a passageway there. There's a gate, a door. We can't go through there though. All right, let's go back. I haven't played the game where the camera angle static like this for so long. Hole three, hole three, we're going in. That walk faster doesn't really make that much difference, you know. So we're going to have a little look around in here. See if there's anything for us to find. Oh, we're a bit stuck there, we can't move. Alright, well, we've... Ah, Jesus Christ! Joe? You see that kid over there? Uh, no. You feeling alright? No. <laughs> I got goosebumps everywhere. Can't climb up on any of these, no. Right. <sighs> Charlie, get over here. I had a feeling this was going to be a bit jumpy, you know, but I didn't expect this. Some of them, some of them have killed each other. Oh, we got a gun and a knife. Which one of me? Which one of me? Which one am I? Am I the one with the knife? I am. Give me the gun. But probably best I don't have it to be honest. Why is what? Oh! Why is it all like smoky? Well, that ain't a big creepy open room. Hey, come here. That's a creepy little kid. Oh, what happened to him? Oh God, no! Charlie! Oh, maybe the smoke's making him hallucinate. Uh, if he's hallucinating, is this someone who's okay or is this a bad a bad thing? I didn't know what to do. Oh, should we have shot him? Have we just let our mate die? Well, I think one of them were going to die, but I don't know. Alright, 
A ver, ahí sale, ahí sale. Have a sip of me tea while I'm not about to jump. I don't know. Where's our location? Are you running like a zombie but fast? What the hell? He's holding up a little glass like this is gonna help. Oh jeez! Oh, he's dead. I think he's dead. But I'm not shooting that guy. Have I just got everyone killed? Or is that like the the prologue? I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> This guy looks like he's not scared of anything. He knows exactly what we're doing. Is this who we're going to be playing as? That was bright. Hello. Hello. And welcome to my repository. Okay. Is he a shrink? I am the curator, the curator of stories, stories of love and hate, greed and beauty, life and death, stories such as this one. I'm here to record the story you choose to tell. You see, this tale is only part written, and the choices you make will complete it and determine whether the lives of those with whom you are interfering continue to flourish or whether they are snuffed out you see we each make decisions according to our own moral compass and we have to live with those decisions or die by them but you shouldn't fear death it is after all inevitable that sounds like it we're not going to live one pays for having lived and it comes eventually to everybody still none of us want for it to come too soon do we not at all as in life, the actions you take matter. The choices you make will affect others. I'll be keeping a close eye on your progress. It's not my place to interfere, but I might be persuaded to offer the occasional hint. Okay. Here's one for free. There are pictures in this world that can show you some possible futures. If you can find them and study them, they may just help you to make better decisions fine or should i say decisions that result in the outcomes you would prefer so does anyone know how many endings for the moment this we'll game talk has. again soon enough we'll have the opportunity to account for all the actions that you've taken or whatever mess you've made so by having decisions to make makes me believe that the ending can change Okay, so we are where his picture just was. Duke of Milan, French Polynesia, 8.30 a.m., present day. He's going to get splinters in his feet. See, the first decision I would have made would have been to put shoes on. <laughs> Witty Brad, Alex's brother, innocent. Okay. So he's like an innocent guy, doesn't get in any trouble. Motivated. Alex, Brad's brother, Julia's boyfriend, he's very insecure. Think we got enough? If we run out, we can always call for backup. So, uh, look. I've never been down there before. Down? The water. Diving. 
Well, maybe you could show me how the pros do it. Are you serious? Uh, yeah. I mean, are you serious you came out here without taking any lessons? Uh, kind of, yeah. Um, insecure. It's... It's what? It's embarrassing taking them by yourself. It's embarrassing you came all the way out here expecting me <laughs> to hold your hand. <laughs> Whoa, careful. That dive cam is, like, super expensive. Look, bro, be cool. What? Julia and Conrad are, you know, how do I say it? Super fucking loaded? So? So don't sweat the little stuff, man. It's not cool. Don't make me regret letting you tag along. Uneasy, not good with people. Accusatory, I was invited. Uh, accusatory, accusatory. Uh, tag along? Seriously? I thought I was invited. Julia wanted you to come along. <laughs> For real? Julia? Yeah, man. She wanted you to come. And I wanted her to see how cool you are, which you're not. So be cool. Capiche? It's a bit of an ass, isn't he? Calvary's almost here. Cool. Sorry I'm a little snappy. I'm just... When you medical school would be stressful, you know? Total shocker. And man, the long distance thing with Julia, it's been rough. It's been two weeks. Two weeks. It's been like two weeks. Huh? Just like someone going on holiday. Yep. Right on cue. What? Conrad doesn't think we have enough beer. Ah, I guess I keep these in an undisclosed location. Yeah. Right button traits updated with Conv Conrad. He's envious, witty, innocent, eager. Oh, hang on. I didn't know whether I meant to press that. Okay, so we haven't got any for them. So we've just got this. Oh, secrets. There's loads of stuff that we haven't seen yet. Oh, hang on. Whoa, 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 whoa. What are these? Oh no, don't know. Hey, so uh, can I get your input on something? Yeah, what? Just uh, kind of a big thing I'm trying to make a decision about. About finishing med school? No, but it's just kind of a big life choice, you know? How to know what's the right thing to do. Go with your gut. Go with your gut. Go with your gut. If it's right. Bearings updated? What, what bearings? No MC core. Let's see what... We can't select any of these. It just means that we've got them now, maybe? You'll know. Here's the other two. Hey! Excited. Julia, Conrad's sister. Alex's girlfriend. Reckless. Conrad, Julia's brother. Foolhardy and relaxed. He looks familiar, him. Oh, sorry. Connie, this is Alex. Hey, what's up, man? Conrad. <laughs> Watch it, sis. Lady killer, right here. <laughs> Good to finally meet you, Conrad. This is Brad, by the way, my little bro. Hey. Bradley, I feel like I already know you. I've heard so much about you. Yeah, uh, likewise. So you got brother and sister and two brothers. Hey, man. Want to crack a colon with me? Every second. Huh. Uh, that's a lot of seconds, cowboy. I mean, I would have gone with you. So yeah. Julia wants them yeah, to come cool. to keep her brother company. <laughs> Tight. I, I love beer. Hey. Has he never drank? Innocent, excited, witty. Okay, so there's more there. There's eager and envious that are not lit up. Okay. <laughs> right on, Radical. I like the cut of your ship. Radical? It's jib. Don't ruin it. You ever do any diving before? Never. Um, no, actually. Never done it before. Water virgin. Nice. Hey. Traits updated. Insecure, excited, witty, relaxed. So, if I click on these, right, does it... It doesn't tell us anything because we haven't got anything for them yet. Brad was cynical towards Alex. Brad was offended that he is considerate, considered a tag-along. Can't see that in the white. Brad felt insecure after Alex said he is embarrassed of him. Can't click on any of them, okay? going to pop your cherry together. going to be gentle. Uh... 
<laughs> Who's this? <laughs> Where's the old crust bucket skipper anyhow? Fliss, she's impatient, captain of the Duke of Milan and Courageous. She looks quite intense, you know. I'd invite you to make yourselves at home, but, uh... So is everybody on board and ready to go? Ready and waiting. Doesn't waste any time, uh, does she? You're selling, I'm buying. Oh, whoa! <laughs> she didn't like that. So, are we going to see where maybe that ship at the start sunk? Are we going to go diving? Find out all the creepy stuff that happened there. Oh, I see, sir. That'd be me, that, you know. That'd be me. That's it. Get it all out. Uh, yeah. You uh, want to go lie down? Yeah. You know, maybe I should. Oh, boy. <laughs> Duke of Milan, offshore, North French Polynesia, 5.30 p.m. June the 20th. What about over here? That's pretty far out of the way. I'm just thinking about backup targets in case we don't find anything on the dive cam. Listen, to be honest, I've never heard of this wreck you're looking for. Usually these things are crawling with divers. Yeah. This one's different. I'm just saying, if it gets too late, I know some nice places where you can just take, you know, a nice dive. Um, Brad did his homework. Brad did his homework. If he says the wreck's here, it's here. <sighs> okay, look, you're the client. I'm just saying we don't have unlimited daylight. I'm gonna go help Conrad and Julia with the camera. Trades updated, impatient, eager, motivated, insecure. So generous and courageous. The two that we probably want. What you got? Uh, blocked out. Generous and Feast courageous, get him this. killed. Okay, so there is a wreck there. Brad's calculations were right on the money. Always bet on Brad. Yeah, kid's a whiz. We should thank him. Fliss, we found a plane. Yeah? Yeah, it looks like World War II. We are ready to dive. Uh, technically, we should call this in to port authorities as an unreported wreck. Well, technically. Are you sure you don't want to do this the right way? Who cares? Look, for all anyone knows, we were just diving and then found it. So who cares? The right way. Come on, what is this, kindergarten? I had to bring it up. If we just go down and take a look, who's gonna know? Fine. As long as you're quick. And don't touch anything. And don't touch anything. I just can't wait to be the first one down there. Can you imagine? Traits, eager, impatient, generous, and insecure. So what's missing there? Selfish and motivated. Untouched. Is that the anchor? We should be ready to get you guys in the water in a few. I'll set up the tanks. The boys will do the final checks. Take a look at the camera. See if you can find anything useful. Righto. That anchor was just a block of concrete. Hey, maybe you should check on your bro. Okay, we gotta go and check on the sick guy. Hey, on. Hey. Is that something over hey, there we can get? It is, what's this? Oh, we can go and have a little look out in the binoculars. Hmm. I don't think might be awake. Nothing, nothing. Oh, what's that? Can we zoom in or anything? No? Okay. So we can go and talk to that girl. Almost got the Was, gear good to go. Is her name Julia? Uh, need a hand? Need an extra hand? Never used a rebreather before. I think we're in good shape. It's probably not a bad idea for you to have a clue how these things work. Gotta say, not too happy with our captain at the moment. Why not? Um. Seriously, where does she get off bitching about us? She's making a small fortune on this trip. Yeah, not that small. Rules are rules. I get it. But what's the big deal if nobody finds out? Yeah, that's what I'm saying. All right, I'm going to get these rebreathers set up, and then we'll go through the final steps together. Cool. Just holler at us when you're ready. Let's go and have a check for sick boy. 
Can we talk to the captain? No. Oh yeah, we can, we can. Hi. You know, we have rules out here for a reason. You guys gotta respect that. Her light. Uh, yeah. Let's be nice. Before. Everybody's just a little... We've been planning this whole thing for a while now. I get it. But there are rules and laws and customs. These rules are all pretty basic stuff. How much experience do you have with these kind of dives? None. Dived a couple wrecks over the years. Not an expert, but, you know, experienced. If this is your first unreported wreck, then you should know there's a very specific protocol you have to follow. For all you know, this could be a war grave. Disturbing Ooh. it would be illegal and immoral. Come on. We see anyone know. else out here? Who's gonna know? We logged our route at the harbor. If someone sees it's been disturbed, it ain't gonna be hard to put two and two together. Especially if some little souvenirs show up online. <laughs> you know what? I can't stop you. Just respect the rules down there. Don't do anything stupid that'll get my ass in trouble. So don't take anything away. Okay. So the weather, let's see. Oh, why are we saying that off? Shouldn't we have that on? You know how to use that? Uh, no. no. Not really. Might want to just let it do its thing. Right, what do we got here? Full name, Felsite Dubois. The instruction identified on the rear is authorized to conduct classes in the designated designate speciality as sanctioned by Dive Master Federation. This doesn't look kosher. <laughs> it's like a fake. She's not a real dive, dive people, whatever it's called. Right, let's go, let's go. Go and check our brother. See if he's stopped being sick yet. A little picture on the wall to check. Huh. What am I looking at here? Oh, is this one of the... Oh, what? Hang on, I need to see that again. Premonition. View premonition. That didn't... That didn't give us a lot. Is he locked in? No, he's not in there. What's up? How you doing? Sorry, that brewski got the better of me. Don't worry about it. Hey, all part of the adventure. Sorry for putting a damper on things. No worries, dude. Took more than that just to screw up the trip. Just get some rest. Come back when you're feeling better. Okay. So he's relaxed now. Right trigger, open the door. What have we got in there? Shroud of Innocence. anything on the mainland. That's not what we're picking up. We, oh, we got aftershave perfume. This only smelled as good as it cost. At least it made her happy. Shroud of Innocence. I don't know whether I was meant to look at the back of that. It went back down before. I, I let go of the button by accident. Okay. Next. That looks like that room is done, actually. Dude, tanks are ready when you are. Tanks are ready. So, we have been going for one hour so far, and I think this is going to be a good place to end it just before we get stuck in, in the water. So, everyone, thank you so much for watching. Hope you're going to enjoy the series. If you are new here, if you do like these type of story games, don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button. Hit the notification bell, turn it on, um, so you don't miss the next episodes. And drop some comments down below. Hit the like button, you know, help me out. <laughs> and I'll catch you all in the next one. Thanks for watching, everyone. I'll see you soon. Bye.